Hello and welcome Aquarius to your September 2022 general reading. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now Aquarians, the, this is a very special month for your star sign only because you're the only sign that is governed by uh, Uranus. Even though Saturn ru governs or rules your, your, your star sign too, you are the only one associated, if that makes sense, um, with uh, Uranus energy. And, um, and I wrote down the dates <clears throat> somewhere here. Oh yeah, <laughs> here we go. On September the 14th, the moon will actually move itself right in front of your governing planet, Uranus. Now, this is the first time this has happened since 1953. And when the moon is in front of Uranus, then everything that is emotional in your life is super highlighted because it is literally with the planet of sudden and unexpected change, which means if you already feel fed up about stuff, you will no longer take any crap because Uranus being the uh, planet of sudden change and unexpected change, you may actually find yourself snapping at anything that emotionally, um, well, bothers you, for want of a better word. But I just love how the universe works things out by itself, because the day after the moon is in front of Uranus, which would be then the f September the 15th, the moon then moves right to the Pleiadians or the Pleiades, which is where we're all from. So, while you find yourself mid month um, quite um, emotionally overpowered, if that makes sense, um, we are going, you are going home to where you're from, to the Pleiadians, um, on the 15th, which means you get all the support that your guides have got for you and all the love that the universe can master for you is at your disposal just so you can get through whatever emotional upset <clears throat> um, is happening for you uh, mid-months in September 2022. I find that incredible. So anyway, <laughs> what we do here is we will actually divide the reading into sections so it is actually easier to understand. What we'll do is we look at the overall energy for the month of September before we then go into your emotional core, even though we just to a certain extent talked about it. And then we talk at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September uh, 2022. Here we go, shall we? So this is your overall energy for the months of September 2022 for your sign of Aquarius. And it's quite interesting, you have, <laughs> you have two interesting messages here. One is... Um, they're asking you, the guys are asking you to, to, to not let, let your, your pride get in the way this month, because again, this will be a bit of an emotional month uh, for Aquarius, but don't think you're always right, right? So that's sort of, sort of what I'm getting. <clears throat> and also, it's interesting because as, as a sign, Aquarius is the sign of a giver, uh, also known as the water bearer. You're not a sign that is, that is used to taking, and yet, you are being asked by the guides this month to keep giving even though you may feel that's not what you want to do. So the point that I'm sort of getting is, is don't go against your nature. Don't, don't go uh, and think you're always right. Um, so as a, again, generalizing, as a sign, Aquarians, there are times where you can be a bit stubborn and, and not take uh, criticism well. If that makes sense, it's just one of those imprints that your sign has. <laughs> and um, when the guys say don't let the pride get in the way, look at anything and everything that happens this month from a detached point of view. And if you can support rather than fight, it makes your life much easier. Okay, so that is the overall energy for the month of September 22 for the sign of Aquarius. And please remember, these are general readings. Um, should they resonate with you, please like, subscribe and share and come back next month um, because that helps uh, the channel to grow. You can also uh, leave a super like or super thank you, I think it's called, super thanks, 
which means you donate for four pounds ninety nine or something, right? But you can also just buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And of course, that is not compulsive um, or compulsory. This is just, um, you know, because it's a free service and I like my coffee. I thought I mentioned it a couple of times. <laughs> anyway, let's look at um, your emotional core. We already talked about you being um, super affected, if that makes sense, um, because of that... Um, moon pushing in front of your governing planet. Now it's also interesting because this is September and we're moving from Virgo to Libra. So we're moving from the sixth house to the seventh house on the 23rd, which is the last day of, of Virgo. So on the 24th, um, we are then in Libra, the sign of balance. So energetically speaking, that also informs your life. But because on the 23rd of September, we also have the autumn equinox, which means the nights are getting longer than the days. It, it is, people, people of old, ancient people, always saw the equinoxes as reset buttons. And that is exactly how this feels for your sign this month. Um, towards the end of the month, as we go into the sign of Libra, where we're looking for balance here, um, Things get easier because you sort of get reset. You have probably got it all out of the system because of the um, the the moon being in front of Uranus mid month. So you, you so you get a lot of your stuff that bothers you out of your system by actually expressing it, albeit maybe not so kindly, if that makes sense, right? Um, but you can expect towards the end of the month to feel a bit more at peace, right? So it's actually quite a powerful month. <clears throat> I apologize for the sound. Um, I'm recording this on a really warm day um, in uh, in August, and um, someone is mowing the lawn. And you know, don't stop adventurous people. In any case, <laughs> with regards to your emotional core, the guides are saying to you um, to keep manifesting what it is you want. Hold your vision, for want of a better word. Just make sure you're not. You're not forgetting who you are in the scheme of things, right? And then the good thing is, when, with regards to anything to do with your emotions, everything to do with love, by the way, they are giving you this. A new romantic cycle begins. Now, which is interesting because life is cyclical, right? So, um, and because things tend to repeat themselves, the question here is, when a new romantic cycle begins, will you take with you all the crap, so to speak, that you have experienced in, in previous relationships. So the point they're making here is reflect on what it is you truly want before you engage. But if you're open, you can take a relationship that you're into a new level, to new heights, or manifest a new one, if that makes sense. right? So quite a lot of stuff going on here that is highly energetic for your sign, Aquarians. And now finally, lastly, we're looking at um, opportunities. And opportunities are not plentiful, simply because you have to go through or you are going through a lot of emotional things, personal things. So <clears throat> new beginnings, new opportunities with regards to work might not therefore be easily manifested or easily be seen. The point they're making is uh, the only way for you to attract, it's really probably the wrong term, proper, opportunities is by communicating what it is you want so um, be proactive when it comes to you know being promoted when it comes to changing your outlook uh, um, as to what you want to do with your life um, communication is the key so in other words opportunities may not really come for you or come to you in September but whatever is out there if you see it make sure you're proactive okay that's all we got time for. Thank you so much for watching and um, please join us again next next month. You can um, like the Facebook page and you can obviously, uh, which is what I really want for you to do, is to subscribe to the Facebook, uh, sorry, to the YouTube page. So you'll always be more notified um, and, you know, you, you will be here next month then. All right, Aquarians, thank you so much. See you soon.